Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan, nice to meet you, nice to see you. How you doing, how's it going? Today I'm here to do a spring Madewell try on haul and review to tell you about the fit of Madewell things as well as what I am not keeping uh, and as well as things I'm considering not keeping. So um, I'm going to talk through the outfits that I tried on. I'm going to roll some footage of me wearing these things um, and yeah, let's just jump into it. First outfit, I'm going to talk about the shirt first and then I'll talk about the pants. Okay, so this is the tie sleeve wrap top in Prairie Posies. Um, I really do love the pattern of this. It's like a lavender color with some red blush and navy flowers on it. I love that it is an actual true wrap top. So it has a button on the inside to attach one wrap side and then it has a button on the outside to attach the outer wrap side. That being said, my love affair with this top ends there. I really don't like this shirt on. I really feel like it was misrepresented online, I think. So this is what it looks like just being held up. Um, I think the concept is really cute. I just wish it was about an inch and a half or two inches longer. It is very, very short. I bought this with the idea of possibly wearing it to work and it's just too cropped for that. I do like it though. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I probably will not. I think it's cute on, and I think it's cute with these mom jeans, but I bought it mostly to wear to work, and I really don't feel like I can wear it to work. It's very thin. I paid, I think, $45 for this. I got this on sale. I think regularly it's like 50 something dollars. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I think that this is worth it. I really am very disappointed in it and I will probably be returning it. I feel like the picture online made it look a little bit longer than it actually was and it's a little bit disappointing to me. <laughs> Next in this outfit are the mom jeans in the Melva wash. So I've wanted these for a while. I have a few nitpicky things about these. First of all, they were originally $64 or $65 when they first launched these, not that long ago, which I thought was an insane price. I didn't buy them right away, but I wanted them. And so when I went to buy them, when I actually placed the order, I noticed that they're now $79.50. So they raised the price almost $15. And I don't know why, but that really, really, really bothers me. And for a while, the descriptor says they even come in at a very reasonable $65. Now it says now they come in under $80. Anyway, getting on to the actual function and wear of these jeans, I really like them. They are thicker and feel more like traditional jeans than my other Madewell pairs, like skinnies and things like that. They tend to be more stretchy. These are the only pair of Madewell denim that I have that really do feel like sturdy jeans. They're thicker. Uh, they they do not have as much stretch. They actually don't have much stretch at all, but I really like them. I like the color. I will say I've read many reviews saying that they stretch out. These are a little bit too big on me right now. So I really kind of wish I would have sized down. Um, so bear that in mind. I do like them though. I love the trend of mom jeans. I think that it's a really cute trend and I really hope it stays around because I like it. That being said, these are very, very short. I am a person that is tall enough to wear the tallest size in Madewell, so the taller. These do not come in tall or taller. They hit me about mid shin, so they are like capris. They're not like ankle jeans, they're capris. So if you're not into that look and you're really tall, keep that in mind. But if you're short and you just want like a kind of cropped mom jean, these are your girls. I do like them. I will probably be keeping them just for your info. Next is this texture and thread Madewell top. It is the texture and thread wrap tie top. This is in the shade bright. I don't really know why, but that's what it says on color in, <laughs> that's what it says on the color line on my invoice. So bright it is. Anyway, I like these tops. This is another one of those tops. I think that they're they have a really fun texture. It's like sort of a crepey material, which is very breathable. I feel like these will be great for spring and summer. They're easy tops to just throw on. You can uh, adjust the tie if you want it a little bit more defined at your waist, which I personally like. 
Um, they are a little bit cropped, so they're shorter than like your average t-shirt, but I think they're really cute. And I got these on major sale. These were only $17.49, which I think is very reasonable for a Madewell top. And I personally don't think this is see-through, but if you might not want to wear like a black or bright pink bra underneath it. Next outfit, I'm going to start with the top. The top is the scoop sweater tank in all good stripe in the shade pearl ivory and this is what it looks like i think that this top is so cute in person the stripes are a little bit raised that being said i think this looks atrocious on me um it's just not flattering for my particular body type and I also kind of wish that I would have got this in an extra small instead of a small because I do feel like it's a little bit, I feel like I would just like it more if it had a more snug fit. But that being said, I do think that it is a very, very, very cute top. It is not super short, not super long. It's like perfect hip hit length. And I love the colors. I think that this is a perfect spring tank super cute i love it but i don't know if i'm going to be keeping it because i feel like it looks funny on me and paired with that is the rigid denim a-line mini skirt in the shade lakel lakel i think that this is really cute but i will not be keeping it because it doesn't fit me it's too big in the waist um i feel like reviewers said to size down in this and i did not listen i bought this in my normal size because my issue is that I have wider hips, like my hip to waist ratio is not average, I guess. So I find it very difficult to find shorts and jeans and skirts and all those things that fit me in the waist and in my bottom that are, you know, meant to be somewhat tight. I thought this would be perfect because I thought that it was going to be looser through the hips, but it's really not because this does fit around my butt, but it is loose at the top. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep this, but I do think that it's really cute. I love the raw hem. It's not too short, which was what I was looking for. Next outfit, we're gonna start with the top. I actually love this top. Um, it is the button-down cami top in ink spot dots. So this is what it looks like. It has really cute buttons all the way down the front. These straps are adjustable and it is very cute. It's super cropped. It is not long at all. Um, it hits like right at high waist denim, as you can probably see in the video that I'm showing, maybe right at this moment. I love the color of this. This doesn't typically strike me as a spring color, but I feel like this color is everywhere this spring. So I'm a fan. I love the polka dots. I'm a big polka dot fan. I will definitely be keeping this. And I got this from the sales section. It was $34.99. Next up are the Perfect Jean Shorts in Almond Wash, which I love the wash of these. I really, really do. But again, we have the issue where my waist is disproportionately smaller than my butt. So I love Madewell Shorts. These are no different. I am going to be keeping these. They are a little bit big at the waist, but I'm not going to be able to find a pair that fit me at the waist and the butt. So I've got to make concessions here. I am keeping these. Um, the stripes show up a little bit more stark on camera. They look way less intense in real life, but they're very, very cute and they are just stretchy enough. They're comfortable. I love Madewell shorts and I have owned many pairs of the perfect jean short, but bear in mind, if you have a bigger butt, then your hips are like ratioed with at a normal size these might gap on you as they do on me. And last outfit is the outfit that I am wearing. So this is the same top only in peach that I have in the stripes. This is the um, texture and thread wrap tie top in peach. Love it. I think it's really cute. I'm a big fan of it. It's really comfortable, really easy to throw on with jeans or shorts or whatever. And I like it. And the last thing are these shorts, which are the mom jean shorts which I don't know why I'm showing you in this setting, but I am. So these are the mom jean shorts in Jocelyn wash. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not. I got these in my regular size and I kind of wish I would have sized down, but at the same time, I do feel like if I were to size down, like if I were to take these and exchange them, 
I feel like they might be too small because like they do fit in the hips, but they're just big at the top. See, like they're very big at the top, but I do love the wash. I love the distress detailing. I think they're really pretty, but this is, this haul is a very classic showcase of Madewell's sizing issues. Like no two bottoms fit me the same way in the same size. And that's just my issue with Madewell pants, bottoms in general. They're never sized exactly the same. So just a quick recap, the mom jean short, I personally think run a little bit big, but you may wanna try them on in person because they fit kind of funny also. The perfect jean short, I 100% think run big. I wear a 26 taller in every pair of Madewell denim that I own. Um, but in the shorts, in the perfect jean short, I always wear a 25, always. The denim skirt has a funny fit. If you have, like if you're not someone that fits into a size guide generally, if you don't fit a size chart, if your butt is disproportionately big to your hips, you may wanna try this on in person because this would fit me, but the waist is way too big. And then the mom jean, I honestly think you should size down in. These are definitely going to stretch and these are too big for me. And like I said, I always wear a 26 in Mabel denim. I bought my normal size and they're a little bit too big. And the only, like the tops I feel run true to size, except for this one, I kind of wish I would have sized down in. So yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. That's my try on haul and review. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy shopping. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on Madewell and their sizing. So I guess I should clarify. I think that their like skinny jeans typically fit exactly the same. There's only one, I have one pair of cut off like ankle skinny jeans that have like a rip in the knee and they are so small. Like they're the same size as all my other ones, but they're so tight. I can't even wear them. Um, but other than that, I have always gotten away with wearing the exact same size. So yeah, I don't know about like straight leg or vintage wash or like any of those styles cause I don't own those. Uh, I have some of the wide legs, which personally fit me in my regular size. And yeah, that's that's it. Okay, I'm not I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a shopping spree at Madewell, I hope that you love it. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.